one. Okay, so C1, I actually entered it earlier, but I don't know what made me close it because when I saw the setup, I was on my PC, then I left my PC and I was using my phone and for some reason I closed it. I don't know why I closed it, but yeah, it dropped. So for C1, what I feel like they would do, let's see. <clears throat> okay, so looking at the daily, I think we might want to see how the daily candle closes before we actually engage on this one. Because what will most likely happen is if we close red here, then we should still see price drop down to this level here, to 5,900. I think we spoke about this level uh, a day or two ago. So I think for now, I'm actually leaning on sales. So let's just see if we've got any reasons to sell. Uh, if you notice, uh, H4 is broken the order block here, right there. So we could get a retracement into here. We could get a retracement into here. Worst case scenario would be price coming all the way back up, taking out this high. But still, my my bias would be a sell. Uh, at the same time, price can still just like drop without pushing back up. So. That's a huge possibility right there. Looking at H1 again, I would love to see a retracement either into this area here. This would be my points of interest for today. So the first point of interest would be 6045, then 6055, then 6070. Okay, so we've got 6045, 6055, and uh, 60.70. Those are my points of interest for sales. So if price gets here and it shows a nameable candle or it rejects, then I'll take the sell. If it gets to 60.55, which is right here, same thing. If I get a nameable candle and potentially a pattern on a smaller time frame, then I'll execute. Same applies to this broken order block from M15. Price can still come back all the way up here before we can get a sell. So these are my three points of interest for sales uh, on C5. Uh, I'll just be monitoring in case they decide to come back all the way up here. We'll just see, because that will be like a new pattern which will be forming in there. So we'll just see how that goes. If they decide to just sell off from here, that will be a miss because I don't have a, a particular pattern at the moment. Uh, let me just quickly check something here. On M15. Oh yeah, I don't have anything. So when you come to M15, those are the zones there. You see them, they're visible. So that's it for me from C1. C3, it could sell. It can potentially sell right, right from uh here. Once we break here, I want to see them. Uh, excuse me, I want to see them break this order block here. Once we break this order block, that's a safe entry sell. So I feel like the pattern is still loading. Uh, they could potentially extend the high again, then form another pattern at the top there with new order blocks and stuff. But for now, if they do come below the zone then I will be considering a sell. If you also notice, we're playing around yesterday's highs, which is right on that same area. So if we get a pencil forming right on that area, that would be a clean sell. So I think that's it for C300. If you put the order block, then you will see the exact values. The order block I use is this... Uh, uh red candle the sell candle here before this last push up so if price comes below that zone then i'm looking forward for sales uh so let me just check h m30 you see we also have like a 800 ema rejection which was also the case the day before yesterday i remember we we're stalking it for sales if you notice i had my order block here and i was waiting for them to come below they didn't instead they extended the high then the same order block was still the same zone, which they eventually uh, broke below. Then the sales happened, but uh, it was like hours when we were sleeping here. I missed that one. Then the whole of yesterday, I had no setup on C3. <clears throat> Today, 
this is the view. So we'll see they could still extend the highs. Uh, that's still possible. Uh, looking at the daily, we are around the moving averages here, which could actually be a rejection for me. So we'll see then if price should fall, we should fall all the way to at least 3,400. That will be the target here. 3,400 will be the target for whatever pattern forms here for a possible sell, that will be the target. But again, we still have to see how the daily candle goes. If the daily candle uh, gets uh, black here or gets red, depending with your colors, that's that will be also be a sign to sell. So let's also mark that area quickly there. Okay, right there. Oh, so that's around today's lows or around today's open price. So we're saying if price comes here, we're going to start selling. And if they do come below this zone again, that's another uh, signal for us to actually add on to the sales. Then we should potentially look forward for price to get to 3,400 if the setup holds. Because sometimes they might come here, then they might actually continue pushing up. So we'll just be seeing how price will be moving on that one. Uh, C500 is rejected a zone. Looks like a pattern for me here. H1, let's see. M15, I had this area initially. Mm -hmm. uh, this could be a sell at current market price. So let's just have one position. Uh, as I finish analyzing this, uh, let's see. So I believe on C3, these are the all time lows which were set. Uh, I, I'm not sure if price will really want to continue selling. It's still possible though, since we are like in a very tight uh, downtrend here. So we could still follow this pattern and drop. Hence we've got that one sell which we opened. Uh, looking at the daily, mm, price looks like they've taken out liquidity on these areas here. So they might wanna push up which is also a possibility. Okay, let's check each three. Uh, rejection of this order block here. So we could still see those cells playing out, but how low can they drop though? Maybe 20 pips. 30 pips, 35 pips. Uh, this is not really a high probability for now. That's why you see we only have one position. But this pattern here, this pattern here, if we do come below this red line here, if we come below 32.45, once we come below 32.45, then the sell will be a safe entry and it will become a high probability and we'll look for, for price to come uh, retest today's lows or actually break them and set the new law before maybe we get a reversal. Again, uh, TDI bouncing off the 50 static as well, which is making me actually uh, be okay with this sell here. Because that shows we can get sales. There might not be a big sell, but we should potentially get at least 20 pips out of this one. M30 bouncing off the 50 EMA, same as this zone we drew. Uh, let's see, can we get a sell? How big can that sell be? All right, so let's just have one position for now. Then if we come below 32.45, then we add positions. That's my view on this one. Uh, at the same time, if price decides to start pushing up, like if this is the reversal to the downtrend which we have been seeing, then we'll be looking forward to sell a retracement somewhere on top here. But this is a trade for later on. So if this price refuses to come down or if it fails, uh, they will extend to these highs take out liquidity here and around this area i'll anticipate either a reversal sell or um sorry either a retracement sell or a reversal sell so that's what i'll be anticipating but for now i think i'm happy with that runner
So this is basically a quick rundown of multi time frame analysis. You can see I'm dropping down the time frames, looking for confluence. Uh, what we have on TDI on M15, we've crossed the yellow baseline and we've crossed the 50 static. So slight retracement, a push down. If we do close below 3450, uh, it will become a high probability uh, trade. But sometimes if price fails, what they will do is they will come, they will actually come below, then they will do this. They will actually push back up. So we'll just be seeing how the candles will be painting. But otherwise, for now, that's my view. The only thing which could happen will be price will actually extend the high and form another pattern here, which will still be a valid sell, whether short term or long term. So we'll just keep an eye on this one and see how it goes. Let's check M5. Uh, nice shifting of the zone there. Okay, M5 is looking okay for a short-term sell. Okay, as you can see, it's actually spiking. Let's see, I'm going to add one other position here. Smaller risk. Because this is now based on what I'm seeing on M5. Even though it's short-term, <clears throat> even though it's a short-term view, I still feel like uh, we can get, as long as I can get 20 pips from a trade, for me, it's a setup which I actually take. So if you notice on uh, the reason why I'm selling this uh, based on M5 now is because price is creating higher highs, right, on this uh, chart. And on the TDI, we're slanting down. This is a divergent setup. So we've got higher highs, we've got lower highs. Then we had a baseline bounce here, which we could actually have sold, started selling here. So this is a late entry. Be in mind, it's a late entry. Uh, but it should pay out so we can get a continuation uh, to give us at least 20 pips. So from the first entry, which is here, 10 pips to the zone, to today's lows, that will be 38. Could we get to today's lows? I'm not sure. Could we get to 20 pips? Though, though we can. So that will be around 32, 32. If we get to 32, 32, we can scale out, then check a bit how price will be moving because it could just be a small inducement for a continuation up. It could actually be a drop, small retracement, then a sell. So that's what we're looking at right now. So if we can get a drop, 20 pips, that's fine. We allow the price to retrace, see if they will form something for us here, then we're going to sell it again. So that's my view for C5. B1000, I want to buy it. I want to buy this one. I remember yesterday we were in on a buy and it sort of frustrated me a bit because we were, right, you can see even from the markings here, we were in a buy uh, somewhere in here. I believe there was a gap also somewhere in here. We got a retracement. And when they shot here, I was in good profits here. I could have closed, uh, but I was targeting this level, as you can see. So what happened is price ended up retracing. They pushed back up. I was in profit. They retraced again. They pushed back up. I was in profit. Then I was like, you know what? Is the way retracing that can? I was like, you know what? Let me close. So I didn't get the full length of the move, but I walked away with something at least. Then price ended up just uh, retracing. Then they eventually created a fresh pattern. Uh, then they played out in the early hours. So today, what I would say is the trade looks like it has played out already. Based on the pattern of trade, breakout of this order block after this peak, right? We, we already moved all the way to the previous day's high. So at the moment, I'm not quite sure what they want to do. Though I'm still leaning on buys, I would love them to come all the way back down here to this visible order block or to come into this broken order block here. So those are my two points of interest for a buy. If we come anywhere in this area, I'll consider buys or even on the moving average. 
So my point of interest is fourteen one uh, seven zero. That's my point of interest for buys, which is around this area here. So when they get in this area, we'll wait for them to reject, give us a nameable candle, then we can execute a buy. If they decide to come up now, this zone here will become a flip zone, right? So we'll wait for a retest right here and a continuation to the upside. That's my current view for now. And this is M15. Uh, B5, I already caught a trade here, even though I wasn't too sure of it. I had one position. And what happened is I took a glance at the charts. I wasn't really ready to trade, but when I took a glance, I noticed that a, a, an order block had been broken and price came back to retest into it. And there was also a, an order block within that order block, which made this high probability. But I just had one runner because B5, the way it moves, it usually does this, like I said. So I wasn't too keen on uh, adding positions there, but that position played out 50 pips, I think, up until there. So what could potentially happen now is we can potentially push up Right. So what are we looking for? We're looking for a retracement into this area. But knowing B5, they can still retrace all the way down to this area as well. But on TDI, we'll be looking for a reaction right on the 50 level and on the baseline bounce. As soon as we get something around this area, that's a high probability buy area. And we'll be just be looking to take profit around 46.85. So if we can get a trade from around 46, 45, that will still be a good trade because that will be 40 pips. If we can get 30 pips from the move, that's fine. If we can get 20 pips, that's still fine. Then if we come as low as this area, which is around 46, 15, uh, that will be a bigger trade because it will actually pay about 50 pips. So it will almost be a setup like this if they do come here. But for me, 46.45 area is a uh, high probability for now, this area here. So what I want to see is a W pattern. Once I get a W, a touch and a second touch, uh, first touch, we have one position. On the second touch, that's when we scale it. And we'll see if price can take us to the 200 EMA or above. So that's my view on B5. J10. What happened with J10? J10, I remember yesterday, I think I only scalped this. Yeah, I scalped this after they broke the order block. Uh, today, let's see, I don't think I've got anything. Because J10 and V250, I don't trade these assets every day. I have my days when, I, when I'm seeing clear patterns, I trade. But if price is not so clear, like here, you can see the daily chart is slowed down considerably. Uh, from yesterday on J10. So I do not have anything clear. And uh, again, this is a zone we marked like probably two weeks ago, this zone where we are on. So we could get continuation to the downside. We could get price pushing up. So for now, I do not have a clear pattern. Um, we could actually buy. A buy is very possible. Uh, you can see there's a lot of action going on, but uh, above all, price is just sideways. For the most part, it's sideways for the past four, eight, four, four, eight, four, four, eight, four, four, eight, four, four, eight, four. For the past two days, we're consolidating. So for now, I do not have anything clear, but we can get ready for a potential buy. We can get ready for a potential sell uh, from this area. But for as for today, I don't have anything solid, so it could be a trade potentially for tomorrow. Then V250, 1S, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 days of consolidation, 7 days of no clear trade. I think yesterday we scalped a buy, but even the buy, it didn't even play out the way I wanted. Because you can see, I think, I think it actually took me out. Because when I checked, this was my zone I sent in the group, took buys, I wanted to scale out here, but you can see they touched here, they touched here, they came back. So this one actually took me out, didn't play out. So we've been sideways for seven days. Today is day number seven. So I do not have anything on V250S until we get that momentum we want. So for now, I don't have anything. 
Uh, we'll just wait for them to give us uh, one good day where there's momentum, then from there we'll start trading it. So I think that's it for me. Uh, let me mark the zone here quickly. Okay, if you have questions, bro, let me open this for questions. In case you've got any question based on what we discussed. So that's a high probability area for B5, uh, B1, C5. Okay, C5, we, had, uh, we, we are actually active, right? So what I'm thinking could potentially happen is I'm still in when, or I'm still down with that cell. I want a reaction somewhere here on this moving average because it lines up with this zone here. You can see we've got a zone there. So what I want to do is mark that zone there. Okay, so I'm looking for a reaction on that zone. Then I'll potentially, if I see a reaction here, I'll potentially add before that drop happens. Even though it's a short-term trade, I'll still add C5, C1 waiting for a retracement, C, C3 waiting for them to break this order block. So yeah, let me open this. I'm not sure if you've got any questions, bro, you can just unmute yourself there and uh, you are free to ask. See. I'm not sure if you are okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I don't know if you've got any questions, bro. Any questions? Uh good good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, bro. How are you doing? Uh I'm fine, sir. How is everything? And I saw your analysis now. I saw oh, yeah. everything, sir. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I everything. just don't let you with yeah, okay. everything is good and clear. Okay, that's perfect. So during the day, I'll just yeah. be updating on the setups of the group on Telegram. I'll just be adding if there's anything. Yeah, which needs to be uh, we, we... Okay, sir, we'll be expecting this crash C, C500. Yeah, I C500. Saw a good setup here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C500 is to pay us, bro. Even though it looks like it could be short term. But it's it still shows that it has uh probabilities of playing out. Let's just see how they handle this zone which we put right now. I'll also yeah, advise yeah. if 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 they don't play out, I'll let you know when to close. But for now, let's hold on to it. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, all right. I'll update on Telegram. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you, sir. But I, I did not take any trade to for today. Now I did not Is take any trade today. Okay, ah, that's fine. That's all fine. Because uh, the only high probability trade is B5. So I think let's let's stoke on B5 mainly because it looks like uh, it has high probability of playing out. Is it after it reached uh, this zone, 4642? Yeah, 4642. Yes, yes, yes. That's the zone, right? Yeah. We, 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 we will go for why. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, bro. I'll still update in the group. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, okay, sir. All right, thank bro. you for giving us your time and everything, sir. Okay, all right. You're welcome, bro. Take care. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, all right. Bye. I really appreciate it. Thank you, right. thank you sir. Okay, bye.